In the economy of speed and highly competitive world, everyone needs to live effectively. People need to travel fast, and that's why air transportation is the popular choice for many of us. Aerospace is a fast-growing industry, judging from the number of flights of various regional airlines. Within the next 20 years, world annual air traffic growth rate will slightly increase 4.7 percent, especially in Asia-Pacific region, which is expected 34 percent significantly higher. As the increasing demand in the number of passengers increases in the airline's business, therefore, must expand accordingly to meet the increasing demand. The expected growth of the airline industry will also induce the growth in relative industries such as MRO and OEM. Nowadays, the MRO and OEM industries grow rapidly and have exceptional potential. So, many countries have prepared and developed their capability to accommodate such growth. Thailand, on the other hand, does not follow the same trend. The country shares the rapid growth in aerospace industry, but supporting industries such as MRO grow at a much slower pace. Statistically speaking, Thailand now holds only 50% of overall maintenance. The other half goes to overseas counterpart, namely Indonesia and the Philippines. The situation causes Thailand to lose its foreign trade share and its opportunity in the aerospace arena. Thai government realizes the importance of aerospace industry and wants to grow with the same pace as the global speed. The government believes that Thailand has what it takes to become Southeast Asia aerospace hub for MRO and OEM industries and commits the vision as national policy. Not only that Thailand has the advantages of location from its geographically the center of the region, Thailand also has its strength in manufacturing and high skilled labor especially in automobile sector. Moreover, Thailand also has many potential sites for future development as the new center of the maintenance, namely Utapau Airport, Nakhon Ratasima Airport, Pisanulok Airport, Suratani Airport, and Chiang Rai Airport. The feasibility study shows that the Thai aerospace industry's business plan includes MRO, OEM, and training service. Statistically, new aircraft orders in the region are mainly narrow body because of the travel demand and rapid growth of the low-cost airline business. By 2018, there will be over 392 narrow-body aircraft service airline industry in Thailand. Consequently, this type of aircraft is priority target for the maintenance service. The Thai Aerospace Development Project is designed into three phases. Initial phase, the developing area of 10 hectare or 62.5 rai includes two hangars with five parking bays and one spare slot, one engine workshop with four bays and test cell, eight MRO factories. The phase one has capacity to provide maintenance services around 60 aircrafts and 30 engines per annum. Within the next seven years, the development will move for phase two and Phase 3 to continuously increase the competitiveness of Thai aerospace industrial markets. In this extent, the project will increase the capacity of maintenance services for 180 aircrafts and 90 engines per annum. It is expected that the total MRO spending in Asia-Pacific in next decade 
could reach above 20 billion US dollars a year. Recently, Thailand's MRO spending is 771 million US dollars, with 6.4% annual growth, and expected to raise the market value in the next decade to 1.3 billion US dollars. The results of the development project expects to generate economic benefits up to 1.3 billion US dollars. The Ministry of Transport is now encouraging new investment in aerospace industrial park projects. Private partnerships are welcome. We invite you all to be part of the Thailand's future for aerospace industry park, which we believe the industry will be one of driving force and enable us to be one of major players on the global stage.